Welcome to all of you to the lesson Shine as my shield an essay extracted from the autobiography The Story of My Experiments with the Truth written by Mahatma Gandhi Shine as my shield before going into the actual lesson let's go through the outline of the presentation in this presentation introduction about the author will be given later introduction about the lesson and the explanation of the lesson with the key points and the meanings of difficult words also will be given at the end of the lesson some simple questions to test the understanding and a recapitulation summary notes and other external links for further reading about the author the author is mahatma gandhi whose full name is mohandas karamchand gandhi other names being mahatma gandhi bapuji gandhi ji mk gandhi he was born on 2nd october 1869 and he died on 9 now let's look at the details of the author this is a shyness my shield was written by mohandas karamchand gandhi and his other names were mahatma gandhi bapuji gandhi ji mk gandhi He was born on 2nd October 1869 in a place called Porbandar in the Kathiawar Agency Bombay Presidency during the British rule which is now known as Gujarat state His parents were Karamchand Gandhi and putli bai gandhi his wife's name was kasturba gandhi and he died on 30th january 1948 at the age of 78 years unfortunately he was shot dead by nathuram gadse who opposed the political views of mahatma gandhi in new delhi and the important monuments of mahatma gandhi are rajghat gandhi smriti and the place where he completed his law course was university college london in the temple london before entering into the freedom movement he worked as a lawyer in south africa he was a lawyer politician activist and a writer gandhi ji was known for his leadership in indian independence movement is propagation of non violent resistance non cooperation movement and one of the notable works of mahatma gandhi is the story of my experiments with truth which was his autobiography and he worked as a president of the indian national congress during 1924 25 now let's look at the lesson 
the present lesson shines my shield is an autobiographical essay it was extracted from mahatma gandhi's autobiography the story of my experiments with the truth this is it tells how gandhi used to fear to deliver a public speech when he was in england the essay tells about various attempts of gandhi to overcome the fear for public speech the essay ends with gandhi's opinion that his silence or shyness to speak actually acted as a shield and helped in molding his personality now let's look at some key points of the essay this essay was extracted from mahatma gandhi's autobiography the story of my experiments with the truth this essay tells about the initial fear of gandhi ji to deliver a public speech when he was a student in england it gives different anecdotes or instances of gandhi's repeated attempts and failures to deliver a public speech while he was in england finally the essay says that gandhi's shyness actually became his shield gandhi ji's initial trouble with public speaking when mohandas karamchand gandhi was studying law in england he became a member of the vegetarian society that means a society which popularizes the dieting habits of vegetarian food he was elected to the executive committee of the vegetarian society gandhi used to attend every one of its meetings but never opened his mouth he remained silent he sat quite silent while other members were expressing their opinions at these meetings though he was interested to speak gandhi ji could not open his mouth he used to think that others knew better than him whenever he dared to speak a new subject would be started this went on like this for a long time gandhi just first attempt in public speaking in the meantime the vegetarian society faced a serious situation because of the differences between two persons mr hills and dr ellison mr hills was the president of the vegetarian society he was a puritan puritans are a particular section in christianity he was the proprietor of the thames iron works he gave much financial assistance to the society many members of the society were his followers or to say supporters another individual dr allison was also an important member of the society dr allison was advocating the new birth control movement he was preaching the birth control methods among the working classes mr hills regarded the activity of dr allison as against the morals preached by christianity because in those days puritans were against the artificial methods of birth control so mr hills wanted to send dr allison out of the group or out of the society Mahatma Gandhi also did not like the artificial birth control movement at the time but he did not want to support Mr Hills decision 
because the vegetarian society can have anyone as its members if he is practicing vegetarianism. So Gandhiji didn't like the idea of Mr. Hills to send Dr. Allison out of the society. Mr. Hills brought a proposal to remove Dr. Allison. Gandhiji wanted to oppose the proposal of Mr. Hills, but he did not have the courage to speak. So he wrote down his thoughts on a piece of paper, but he could not even read it. So someone else read his thoughts. In the voting, Dr. Allison lost. So he was removed from the society. Thus, in the very first battle of the kind, Gandhiji found himself siding with the losing party. Gandhiji was satisfied that his thought was right. Later, Gandhiji resigned from the committee. Gandhiji's shyness to give public speech remained throughout his stay in England. Even during his social meetings also, he could not speak to the gathering. Let's now look at Gandhiji's second attempt to deliver a public speech. While he was in England, in one more instant, Gandhiji went to Ventnor, a city, with Sergeant Mazumdar. There, Gandhiji was invited to speak at a meeting for the promotion of vegetarianism. Once again, Gandhiji prepared his speech in writing. To speak extempore, that is, without any preparation, was out of the question for Gandhiji. He stood up to read the written speech, but he could not deliver it. His vision became blurred and he trembled, he shivered. Mr. Majumdar had to read it for him. Gandhiji was ashamed of himself and sat at heart for his incapacity. Let's now look at Gandhiji's final attempt in England to deliver a public speech. Gandhiji's last effort to make a public speech in England was on the eve of his departure for home, that is India. While he was returning to India, he gave his final attempt to give a public speech. Then Gandhiji invited his vegetarian friends to dinner in the Halborn restaurant. During the dinner also, the people gave speeches. When Gandhiji's turn for speaking came, he stood up to make a speech. He wanted to start his speech with a humorous story or joke, but he could not proceed beyond the first sentence. He stuck there. His memory entirely failed him, and in attempting a humorous speech, he made himself ridiculous. He abruptly sat down by thanking the guests. Thus, while he was in England, Gandhiji could not learn the skill of delivering a public speech. It was only in South Africa that Gandhiji got over his shyness though he never completely overcame it. It was impossible for Gandhiji to speak impromptu, that is, to speak without preparation. Gandhiji has stated whenever he had to face strange audiences and avoided making a speech whenever he could. Gandhiji admitted that he was not good at engaging friends in a meeting.
Let's now look at how Gandhiji's shyness actually became his advantage. Gandhiji said that though occasionally his shyness put him in awkward situations, his constitutional shyness did not become a disadvantage. In fact, on the contrary, it was all to the advantage of Gandhiji. His hesitancy in speech became a pleasure in his latter life. Its greatest benefit had been that it had taught Gandhiji the economy of words. Gandhiji had naturally formed the habit of controlling his thoughts. A thoughtless word hardly ever escaped his tongue or pen. He found no occasion where he had to regret anything in his speech or writing. Thus, Gandhiji had been spared from many troubles and wastes of time. Experience had taught Gandhiji that silence was part of the spiritual discipline of his supporter of truth. Generally, people have the weakness of exaggerating, suppressing, or modifying the truth, willingly or unwillingly. Silence is necessary in order to surmount it. A man of few words will rarely be thoughtless in his speech. He will measure every word. Most of the people are interested in speaking a lot and they generally exceed the time limit. But such talking is useless to the society. Gandhiji finally said that unnecessary talk is so much waste of time. He said that his shyness had been, in reality, his shield and buckler. It had allowed him to grow. It had helped him in his judgment of truth. Thus, Gandhiji finally felt that his shyness was shield and it molded his personality. Dear students, since the key points have been discussed, try to remember the answers for the following questions. Who is the author of the essay, Shyness My Shield? Where is the essay extracted from? Where did Gandhiji go to study law? In which society did Gandhiji become a member? When was the first time Gandhiji tried to deliver a public speech? When was the second time Gandhiji tried to deliver a public speech? When was the last time Gandhiji tried to deliver a public speech? When did Gandhiji improve in his public speaking skills? To some extent, did Gandhiji think that his shyness was a disadvantage? Did Gandhiji ever regret for what he spoke? Dear students, let's now try to recollect the key points of the lesson once again. You know that this essay, Shyness My Shield, was extracted from Mahatma Gandhiji's autobiography, The Story of My Experiments with the Truth. This essay gives different anecdotes of Gandhiji's repeated attempts and failures to deliver a public speech while he was in England. When Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was studying a law in England, he became a member of the Vegetarian Society. 
when there were differences between Mr. Hills, the chairman of the society, and Dr. Allison, the supporter of family planning methods, Gandhiji tried to speak for the first time in the public, but he failed to deliver a speech. In a meeting held at Vendna, Gandhiji tried to read a written speech, but he failed in the second attempt also. Gandhiji's last attempt or effort to make a public speech in England was on the eve of his departure for home. When he gave a dinner to his friends in the Halborn restaurant, he tried to deliver a public speech. He started with a humorous anecdote, but he failed to make an impression. So he suddenly sat thanking the guests. Gandhiji could not learn the art of public speaking while he when was Gandhiji ignorant. went to South Africa only, he could learn delivering public speeches. He still had the fear in him. Gandhiji finally tells that his shyness to speak in the public did not become a disadvantage. In fact, Gandhiji's silence became an advantage. It taught Gandhiji the economy of words. Gandhiji had naturally formed the habit of controlling his thoughts. Never did Gandhiji utter a thoughtless word in his life. Experience had taught Gandhiji that silence was part of the spiritual discipline of a supporter of truth. Gandhiji finally said that unnecessary talk is so much waste of time. He said that his shyness had been in reality his shield and buckler. It had allowed him to grow. It had helped him in his judgment of truth. Thus Gandhiji finally felt that his shyness was shield and it molded his personality. Dear students, you went through the biography of Mahatma Gandhi. And you went through the key points and you even tried to answer those questions and you even tried to remember the key points once again. Now let us look at the summary of the essay. Shyness My Shield is an essay written by Mahatma Gandhi. This essay was extracted from Gandhiji's autobiography, The Story of My Experiments with the Truth. It gives different anecdotes of Gandhiji's repeated attempts and failures to deliver a public speech while he was in England. When Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was studying law in England, he used to fear to deliver a public speech. He became a member of the Vegetarian Society. When there were differences between Mr. Hills, the chairman of the society, and Dr. Allison, the supporter of family planning methods, Gandhiji tried to speak for the first time in the public, but he failed to deliver a speech. Someone else had to read his speech. In a meeting held at Vendna, Gandhiji tried to read a written speech, but he failed in his second attempt also. 
His vision blurred and he could not go forward. Gandhiji's last effort to make a public speech in England was on the occasion of his departure for India. When he gave a dinner to his friends in the Holborn restaurant, he tried to deliver a public speech. He started with a humorous anecdote, but he failed to make an impression. So he suddenly sat thanking the guests. Thus Gandhiji could not learn the art of public speaking while he was in England. When Gandhiji went to South Africa only, he could learn delivering public speeches. He still had the fear in him. However, Gandhiji felt that his silence did not become a disadvantage. It actually helped him to develop his personality by sticking to truth. His shyness taught him the economy of words. He learned controlling his thoughts. Gandhiji never uttered a thoughtless word in his life. He also felt that silence was part of the spiritual discipline of a supporter of truth. Gandhiji finally said that unnecessary talk was so much waste of time. He said that his shyness had been his shield. It had helped him in his judgment of truth. Dear students, please go through the following resources for further understanding. To find out the full essay of Shine My Shield and Mahatma Gandhi's autobiography, The Story of My Experiments with Truth online, please visit the mkgandhi.org site. For a blog in which different essays are available by me, please visit the English Notes Summary blog. And to access the videos on various lessons, please access the channel, YouTube channel, Nujilla Srinivas Writer. Thank you very much.